Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at nested loops, continuing my series on Node.js and JavaScript for complete beginners. So a nested loop is a loop within a loop, and we can use a nested loop to visit each element in a 2D array, one after the other. Let's start with use strict as, as usual. And I'm going to copy the 2D array that I created in the last video. So I'm going to copy this animal table. So I've got let animal table equal, and I've set this variable equal to a two-dimensional two array. So an array where each element is itself an array. And the challenge is, uh, the challenge that we're going to do is, can we visit each of these items in turn, either setting them or outputting them with console.log? So how would we use a for loop to access these two inner arrays? So the two elements in this outer array here. Well, we could do it like this. For let i equals zero, i less than animal table dot length. So the length of it is two and i plus plus. And then we can just output console dot log animal table and i. So if we run this code, we are visiting the two elements of this sort of outer array, that zero element zero and element one, element at index zero, element at index one, and we're outputting them here. But each of those elements is itself an array. Let's maybe get each element in a variable. So I'm going to say let row equal animal table i, like this. Um, so now I'm, I'm this variable row, I'm setting first to that, and then when the loop goes around again, it gets set to this. So row is an array, and we can actually iterate over row using another loop. So I can write for let, now we can't use the name i again here, the scope of this i variable, in other words, the variable, the area where it exists is basically from here to here. So anywhere within there, we can't declare another variable called i. We could do afterwards, but within here we can't. So let's give this another name like j. I'm going to set j equal to zero. We're going to keep looping while j is less than row.length. And we're going to say j plus plus. And then here we can write console.log. Let's output i and j so we can see what they are. And then I'm going to write row j. Take a look. So now we've got all the elements within this 2D array, dog, cat, giraffe, element, rhino. And you can see that the values of i and j um, are taking, well, all the values that we need them to. So we've got um, row zero, row zero, column zero is dog, row zero, column one is cat, row one, column zero is giraffe, row one, column one, elephant, and row one. So this one, column two, which is that rhino, is rhino. We could also set the values in the array if we wanted uh, like this. So if I had another one of these, I could set each element in turn. And uh, JavaScript is weakly typed, so we could even set them to numbers. You know, we could do what we want with them, really. We could say, for example, um, let's say row j equals i times j. See what that does. So we had strings in this 2D array. We're changing them all to numbers where each number is equal to the row index times the column index, column index. And then we get this sort of strange looking table here. Um, so the point that I want to make there is really just that we can change the elements in the array via this mechanism as well, as well as accessing them. Let's set them all to hello. And then they're all hello. But anyway, let's comment that out. So if you're a complete beginner, especially, or any sort of beginner, uh, you need to practice this. Um, so 
ideally try to get to the point where um, you can define, let's just move that down a bit actually, move it out of the way, there we go, with Alt or Option and Down Arrow. So you want to get to the point ideally where you can write this out from memory, not this exact code, but um, so first practice this, type it out, get it working, um, and then see if you can, without referring to other code, after a bit of practice, because at first you will probably need to refer to this code or other code examples, um, see if you can eventually get to a point where you can declare a 2D array and iterate through it using a nested loop. Incidentally, we could also write, here we could write animal table i j and here we could write animal animal table i and then we don't need this so that's another way to do it let's try that so you can see that works as well I'm going to just copy that and then just undo because so I wanted to show you this way first because I think it's sort of simpler and it makes it clearer what's going on. I'll put this in a comment and you can find this on uh, github.com slash caver programming and my Node.js uh, public repository if you want to browse the code there. Uh, so ideally get to the point where you can do it from memory. If you get bored and get sick of it, just move on to something else. Eventually, with practice, you'll be able to do this sort of thing and it'll seem um, clear to you. It just takes it just takes some practice. Uh, I don't think it's very helpful to make notes. It's, you just need to practice it, type it, get used to typing this sort of thing, really. And uh, in fact, after you've typed things a few times, I find it's a lot easier to understand them uh, than to do that the other way around. In other words, it's a lot, e a lot easier to type stuff and then understand it than it is to understand stuff and then type. But typing stuff out is, and getting it working, is vital to the process of learning with programming, absolutely vital. So worth, worth trying this out. I'll give you an exercise with this, I think, probably, in the next video, possibly. Um, but uh, for now, this is just enough in itself. Uh, so do try this out and see how you get on. Until next time, happy coding.